Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and I have a special guest today, Bill G. He wants to stay anonymous, so I'm trying to honor that. So um, let's all pretend like we don't know who he is. And uh, today we're going to be talking about AutoHotKey and how it works with Microsoft programs. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, Bill, as you know, uh, I work with AutoHotKey, which is a tool that allows me to fix, one might say, a lot of the shortcomings in Windows and it really speeds it up. Do you have a response to that? It'll be the most amazing thing mankind has ever done. Really? Well, yeah, I, I think it'd be pretty amazing too. Um, I've been trying really hard and uh, you know, a lot of times I get stuck on things just because, man, it can be really difficult. What, what do you say to that? We shouldn't give up. Yeah, yeah, I tell you, man, that is words of wisdom. Um, so I, I know the new Edge browser is going out in your doing stuff with the Chromium. Do you have any thoughts on like, you know, is it going to be the way of IE and it ended up crashing and burning after a few years? None of those uh, failures of the past would recur. Oh, okay, sure. So what about trying to fix some of the other things like in Excel or Word? And um, I'm trying to build some plugins to help them work better. What, what do you think about that? Convincing people of that will be almost as hard as actually building it. <laughs> wow, that is hilarious. Um, what about, you know, using auto hockey to me, it's one of the most things that's so innovative in that I can create things, uh, especially as much as my heart desires, uh, and, and solve amazing problems. Um, do you feel the same way? Yes, I have a bias to believe innovation can do these things. That's great to hear that we're both on par with innovation stuff. Um, Still, at times, fixing things in Windows, uh, it just really kind of wears me down. What do you think? Of, is it, does it you ever have that feeling? It can seem overwhelming. Yeah, okay. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't use Auto Hotkey. And I'm just curious, what do you think, you know, should people be using it? Is it a problem? Do people suffer from this? You know, what, what, how big of a scale is this? It's way greater than the pandemic. Well, thanks so much for that. Uh, and... Lastly, just talking to noobs and that are starting to learn auto hotkey and learn how to automate some of these, you know, clunky programs. Um, do you have any, you know, thoughts for them of should they stick with it? You know, what about, can is it doable? Can they solve these things? Days when it looks very hard. If people think it's easy, they're wrong. If, if people think it's impossible, they're wrong. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate your time and thank you so much. Uh, you're a rock star. Cheers.